Hello, I'm Jeff Vogel, Interim Director with the Anacortes Public Library. As of this week, public libraries are part of Phase 2 of the Governor's Recovery Plan. And what that means is that we can start offering curbside pickup services. We're really excited about it. Staff has already been working hard to come up with a plan. And now that we have state guidelines, we're hoping to start offering this service in the next couple of weeks. As of this week, we'll have book return hours. We have over 14,000 items out there that I know you're all anxious to get back, but we have to do it in a controlled way because we have to quarantine materials. We'll have book drop hours on Tuesdays and Fridays from 11 to 4. Phase 3 of the Governor's Recovery Plan is when libraries can start partially reopening. There's a lot of work to be done to work out all those details, and we'll be following state guidelines and learning from local businesses. We really look forward to when we can open up the building. We miss you all very much. You're the heart of this library, and we look forward to when we can start offering services again. Thank you. Hi, I'm Diana Farnsworth, a librarian, and my job is usually to plan the programs at the library. So that often means that I plan things like genre night, where we have hundreds of people in the library, or our float for the 4th of July, NASA events for adults, costume events for kids, programs where teens come together in the library and help us scheme up wonderful things. And this summer, those things are going to look a little bit different, but that doesn't mean we're not going to do them. And I want to assure you that we are going to continue to have amazing programs all summer long and for as long as we need to stay home and stay safe. We don't know how long we're going to be at home entirely or when we will be able to safely open the library. We do know it's going to be in different phases. We know that the library itself will not open in any way to people until at least phase three, because that's what our governor has set out for us. And at phase three even, we are only able to have fewer than 50 people in a building. And for some of you who have attended some of those events I mentioned before, you know that we are so lucky in our community to have so many people who come to our library events and we like to throw parties for lots of people and celebrate reading because we're all great readers right um so this summer we will be continuing to try to bring you all of the programs that we love to have so in children's as miss leslie will tell you we are going to be doing all kinds of fun things we're going to be reading books together we're going to be doing activities together we're going to be getting outside um, summer reading is going to continue. Don't you worry. There'll also still be prizes. For teens, we're going to keep having events. We're going to work on doing some writing workshops. There's definitely going to be some, there's going to be an art workshop. There's going to be an acting workshop and you'll be able to stop in and help plan those and learn a little bit of acting or write a script or maybe even come in and play a D&D campaign or some other gaming online. So we're gonna be doing a lot of things in the month of July. And then for you adults, I hope you've been joining us for our Together We Discover videos. I've had so much fun getting to go out and find out about scuba diving and hear from some of our artists in the community to see how they, what their artistic process is. We've gotten to take a peek into some local businesses, hear about the recording industry. We have so many more fun things planned with local businesses and community partners. So. There will not be a lack of learning this summer at the Anacortes Public Library, even if we're all still safely staying home doing it. So please sign up for our newsletter, um, respond here in the comments, or send me an email directly and let me know what kind of programs you'd like. We are working on still having a few NASA programs and on having Humanities Washington programs, all those things that we had to cancel, we're still gonna find a way to bring them to you. And until we can do it safely together, we're gonna be doing it together from home. And I just can't wait to see you all again. But in the meantime, please reach out to us if there's a program you'd like to see. Reach out if there's a program you'd like to do. And please keep joining us for Together We Discover and many more wonderful partnerships that we're going to have. And as we tell our story this summer, it's going to look a little different, but it's going to be so much fun. And I can't wait. And trust me, there are going to be a few fun costume things too. So stay tuned and stay safe at home. Hello there, Leslie Wilson here, otherwise known as Miss Leslie to my younger patrons. Um, and this is my Storytime Tiger, Raja, and we're sitting in the corner of my house where Raja and I have been doing um, a weekly Storytime 
um, with for our young families since the library closed in late March. And we've been having so much fun sharing stories and singing songs. And we wanted to let you know that that is going to continue. And we hope that you're tuning in every single weekday. There is a library staff member or one of our friends from the community who've been doing story times for you. And they're available to look at either on the library Facebook page or on the library website. And with summer right around the corner, I also wanted to let you know that summer reading is absolutely going to be happening this summer. And our theme is Imagine Your Story. It's going to look a little bit different because we won't be able to gather in person, but we have all sorts of really fun ideas that the Children's Library team has been working on for programs and stories to share with you and reading that you can do and readings that we're going to share with you. Um, so keep an eye out for all the details on that. And we can't wait to share it with you. And in the meantime, if you need to reach out to us, just know you can email us or call us at the library and we're happy to help any way that we can. Take care, keep reading, and know we miss you.